Hi everybody! Today we're going to be making a pop-out star. So this is what it's going to look like. So, how to make... If you don't have origami paper, how to make a square paper that you can use for any origami out of any kind of paper like wrapping paper, comic book paper, rectangle paper, newspaper. Okay, so first I'm going to start with this tip coming to here to where this comes to a point. Everything comes to an equal point. Now, you're going to do this and you're going to cut it in, well, you should use this, cut it in half. Now, you could just cut this off, but here's an easier way. If you take this and fold it in half again, then this is your 90 degrees. Now, let's say, let's use this compass for an example about 90 degrees. A circle is 360 degrees. Now, if you cut that circle in ha half, it is um, 180 degrees. Now, if you cut it in four quarters, one of those quarters is 90 degrees. So, now that we have our 90 degrees here, we're going to cut this off. Okay? Just cut this off. Put that scrap paper over there. So, first, we're going to get our piece of paper. I have uh, two color, light purple and dark. So, whatever color you want on the inside, you fold or whatever, if you're a blank piece of paper, it doesn't matter, just fold to a tron. So, see? And there's always, these. there's only two ways you can ever fold an origami paper to the start. You can fold a mountain, like this, or a valley. So, we're going to fold again, which is half of that first triangle. Now, right now, we're going to blintz. To make fortune telling things, you double blintz. But we're not doing that. So blintzing, the paper, is where you take each corner and put it to the center. Just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're never going to get it perfect your first try. Um... So you're just going to blintz it all the way around. Okay, so once you're to here, you blintz this paper. Now you're going to fold, take whatever side you want like this, and just see on these lines. You can either do it on either of those lines, but you're going to fold to match this. Just, we're doing the exact same thing we did first. So, we're going to go like this. Then. Now, you're, you're not going to open it up and blend again. You're not going to do that. You're going to squash this down. This is called a squash fold. Now, in, in origami, it's all symmetry. So, this Whatever you do on one side is the other side. Here's an example. If you cut us in half, we have two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two arms, two legs. We're, we're symmetry. So when you turn this over, you're probably thinking, well, how do you do symmetry with this? Well, me and my dad put our finger here and put this. You don't have to take down this line. You only have to bend that there and bend that there. And then see? Stands up. Now, sometimes we use tools to just get into there. I use a porcupine quill. But whatever you have works. So now we're at a preliminary base. We've just done squash fold. This is a preliminary base. We're going to do a kite fold. 
but beware never to use the kite fold at this 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 closed side always at this open side with these two little legs now you're probably thinking how is this going to be a star well we're getting to that now we're going to fold this into a kite fold like this see now i'm going to do the exact same thing in this part and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so we're almost done our kite fold so it look well it will at the end it will look like a star but right now we're, it's going to look like a kite fold a kite and that's why it's called kite fold now see why i'm what I mean by a called kite fold. Now we're going to open these up. And oh, for for starting origami, you should always do this and just fold this little thing and make a line if you're starting. And then after you can just stop that because then you have your line and you're going to come up to that line. And these are just want to come. They're going to want to come in. And you're just going to fold down to a point on each side. doesn't have to be perfect the first time. It's just your, your goal is to make it, as, make it work as good as possible. So, once you're to here, you're going to fold this down. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing over here. You want, if this happens, just go to this line and... This should fold in and come to a point and come to a point and then you're going to do the exact same thing with this part but make sure you don't overlap so like this now you're going to fold this down now if you put these flaps up this is called either a bird base or a crane base. So let's take some close-ups of different folds. This is a preliminary base. Preliminary base. Now, the open side of the preliminary base has two little legs. The other side, it's just closed up like almost like a a box is closed up at the bottom now this is we're going into a kite fold now the kite fold must be at the open end or it won't work your star if you're making a star it won't work now that is a kite fold now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side to make a proper kite fold like this. So it looks like an actual kite. Now you're going to open this up. And this is going into a petal fold. Petal fold. For a petal fold to be proper, you have to have it go into this and then you have to have it like that on both sides to make your fulfilled star shaped thing in some ways from these different from these folds lots and lots of things come out of um these folds now let's have a petal fold up here this is a bird base and crane base. Now to make your star, all you have to do is pull two, those two little legs right there and this is called stretching, stretching the origami paper and it goes like this. Now, if you put these flaps up, this is called either a bird base or a crane base but for us we're going to put this down so we're to here and we're going to take these two little feet and we're going to pull them and voila 
we have our star. Look. Goodbye.